everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and today I'm sharing a cute little treat box here for you. And, and this one's super cute. It's a little bit more um, detailed. It's super easy, though. When you see it, you'll be amazed that it's super easy. But it will fit pretty good amount of candy in it because it has a lot of space, this whole triangular area here. Um, but it's super cute, and I really like this one. So this is what I'm sharing today, and I also made a little card. This is going to be a gift for a friend. I'm retiring from my regular job. Stampin' Up's going to be my full-time job. And um, <clears throat> so, excuse me, I still have a bit of that cold. But um, so I made her a little card. She is uh, my coworker, and we work side by side. We both do the same thing, and um, she's kind of going to be taking over my position. So um, she's been really sad about me leaving. So I thought I'd just make her this cute little treat. I thought I'd give her this one. And so this is the card. I'm not going to share the card today. If you want to see how to make this card, it's a regular. Um, gift card. I'm going to make an envelope that coordinates with it too. If you want to see how to do this, just leave me a comment below and um, I can definitely share that with you. So let's get on with the box. So you're going to need Lemon Lime Twist. It's super beautiful. I love this. It's one of my favorite colors. And this piece is going to be 10 and a half by 5 and a half. And then you're going to need four pieces of designer series paper. This designer series paper is amazing. This is from Bubbles and Fizz. This is a freebie, everyone. This is if you spend $50 during celebration, you get this designer series paper stack. And look at this. Look at the stars on this. And then the other side, look at that stripe. And you get two of each design. And then this one, and this looks kind of like a basket weave, but they're little bottles. It's super cute. And then this one right here with the little bottle caps and the Bermuda Bay on the other side. I love every side of this paper. This little beehive here, and then this is the one I'm using with the little bubbles and the bottles on the other side. Now, this while we're talking about celebration, I'm going to bring out the new choices that we have. This is our um, brochure for the new um, choices that you can get. And so they are, these are the old ones, the previously released um, during celebration. So you still can get these. And then this is some of the other ones. And here's the bubble and fizz paper right there. But you can still get those. Plus they added more here. They added for um, $50, you can get this Eclectic Expressions that stamp set right there. It's amazing because I know everybody's that's going to be popular because a lot of people like that watercolor look and then the little designs that you can put just about anywhere. And then this one is Springtime Foil Specialty Designer Series Paper. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's silver and gold. It looks like it might have copper in it too. But it's all metallic. It's all... Um, super pretty. And then for a hundred dollars you can get this bundle right here. This stamp set, is that not so cute? And then the basket weave dynamic textured impression folder. That is a bundle. If you spend a hundred you could choose this bundle. Look at how gorgeous this is. I cannot wait to get this basket weave dynamic textured <laughs> impression folder. It's a mouthful but it's gorgeous. It looks like basket weave, and I really got some ideas for that. So it's super pretty, too, and it's the dynamic, and you've seen me use that before. It leaves a gorgeous impression. So those are our new choices for celebration. I'll, pro I'll be posting these on my blog, um, too, so you can check that out. I'm going to show you the stamp set that this coordinates with. It's this um, bottles and bubbles. It's really popular. I didn't get this stamp set. I'm almost regretting it. It's super cute. Um, but it has a lot. It's got all the framelits here. And it has a lot of really cute things. I even love these little um, kind of labels right here. All of those would be super cute. And then it has one that you can cut the bubbles out too. 
so it's adorable I don't know I'm probably going to end up getting it before this catalog um, is gone <laughs> alright so let's get started on this so these pieces I don't think I told you were two and a quarter by three and three quarters so these are to mat it and then you're going to need some of the lemon lime twist um, finely woven ribbon that's what I'm using here for this and some scrap lemon lime twist and some scrap whisper white to stamp on. All right, so let's get scoring this. I'm going to grab my simply scored and we're going to score this. So we're going to score it first at the on the ten and a half inch side, and we're going to score it at one half. And then you're scored at three. Five and a half and eight. And then we're going to turn it and you're going to score it at one and a half. So that is all our scoring for right now. We're going to still score a little bit. We're going to hand score the other, but it's really easy. So you're going to need a ruler and you're going to mark off each one of these squares at one and a quarter. Just put a little tick mark at the top on each one of these squares that we just um, created scoring and then we're going to mat it and if you're going to mat this it's easier if you use um, your Tombow wet glue it works better but I'm going to use the fast fuse for the video because I don't want um, to wait for the Tombow to glue, uh, glue to dry. It takes a little bit longer to dry. So I'm just going to use the fast fuse for this. Sometimes it will lift up when you're scoring on a triangle. But we'll take our chances this time. So we're matting each one of these squares that we just marked. I just got this. It's a brand new fast fuse, but it's not wanting to cooperate with me. There we go. I, I keep on forgetting not to put my finger at the top. It's such a habit because I use the snail so much. Make sure these centered really good because we're going to score over the top of this. <clears throat> I'm putting plenty on because I'm worried it's going to lift up when I score it. So I'm trying to put plenty on here. That's why I said use the Tombow or some kind of good wet glue okay so we have them all matted there and let's go ahead and cut where we need to cut and then we'll be ready to put it together so you're just going to cut the little rectangle off the bottom here and there's our glue tab I'm going to cut in on this a little bit and then we're going to cut up each one of these score marks and you're going to take a pretty good amount off these sides so it folds in really good So that is it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and score now. So you'll need a ruler and your bone, uh, your bone folder. And you're going to go from you, where you just marked, that tick mark there, to this corner down here. So you're going to just score it and you want to score it a couple times because you're going through two layers of paper. And then 
turn it and score again to the other corner. And then we're going to do it on each one of these. And it looks kind of like a Christmas tree that you're forming. Okay, so we have it all scored now. I don't know if you can see that, but we are going to go ahead and sharpen all these score marks now. You're going to sharpen them. You're going to need your bone folder to sharpen these. And you want this to go in, so that's why I'm doing it this way. And then don't forget to score in between. And then we're going to score all these. Alright, so now we're ready to put it together. Add your adhesive to your glue tab. Again, use tear and tape or your fast fuse. And then you're going to line these up. And all you need to do is push those together like that to get your thing. But we're going to fold in our bottom here. Make sure this is this part is square or it's going to mess up your box. Okay. So there is all that. So that's how the box all goes together. So now to punch the holes, what I had to do on this one is you have to do like kind of one at a time. And what I'm doing is I'm just punching them like on each side of the pointed area, like the point of that. See how that is? And then I'm going to hold that so I can use it for a guide for the next one because it's too thick to punch through all of, all of it at once. Then I'm going to punch another hole here. And then we're going to use this as a guide for our next hole. And I'm going to go all the way around the box like that. This, this is getting full, I can tell. My hole punch. <laughs> and then we have one more here. You know what's so cool is using the little, I call them little confettis that come out of here. Look at this. Look at that. But you can use them in a shaker card, and they're so cute because there's so many colors. Look how cute that is. So I usually just keep them all stuck to a little piece of glue. And then um, I use them in shaker cards and stuff. It's really cute. Just a little tip there. All right, so now we have all our hole, holes punched there. I'm going to get my ribbon here. 
and we're going to start running the ribbon through. This box is so worth the little bit of extra effort that you have to put into it. Okay, then just pull it tight and then you're going to make a bow. I want to tie a knot first. Look how cute that is, how that ties like that. I really think this is so cute. Of course, I love boxes. <laughs> I guess I think all boxes are cute. I don't know. I don't know what my thing is with boxes, but they're just so fun to do. And I think that's good. Cut it with my ribbon scissors here. And then we're ready to add our little special treat. All right, so you'll need a piece of Whisper White. And then I'm using Lemon Lime Twist ink. And the stamp set is A Good Day. I don't know if I showed that earlier, but I love this stamp set. I can't wait to use this little bunny for Easter. It's so cute. But this has so many cute things, and these, this is perfect for treat boxes and bags and stuff like that. So we're going to stamp first the little circle. And then we're going to stamp this little sentiment with the ice cream cone in it. It's so cute. A little treat just for someone sweet. Hopefully I'm getting that centered. And then we're going to punch these out. I'm going to use the 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch. And then the, well, wait a minute, one and three eighths. No, I need the one inch circle punch. I think, or it was one and a quarter, I'm not sure. Yeah, one and a quarter to punch this out. Now I got it. I'm going to stamp it again. Because I messed up. Because I'm using the scallop that's one and three quarters. So let's stamp that really quick again. I thought it looked kind of big around there. It didn't look like it fit right. I have a bunch of punches up here because I've been working on different projects. There we go. I think I did a better job of centering that one too. Alright, so the one and a quarter inch circle punch. Yeah, that's much better. And then with the lemon lime twist, I'm going to punch the one and three eighths inch circle, scallop circle. I'm going to attach that to the scallop circle. And then I'm using a dimensional to attach it to the box. We'll just put it right in the center here. Just like that. Is that not so cute? I love this box. I think it's adorable. I hope you like it. If you need any supplies for this project, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. All right, everybody. Have a blessed day. I'll catch you later. Bye.